Okay. <clears throat> So, Harshal, what we did uh, over here, okay. uh, for we had the receiving uh, 615. So, okay. we go with each and every requirement E01 to E09. And okay. we try to come up with the um, test scenario or the like okay. tree, what will be okay. the lead. Sure. So, for E01, uh, let me open the document. Side yeah, side. I think uh, it's, your screen is clear. If you want to explain on the screen what you, what you are trying to do from the testing standpoint, that, that should be good enough. Okay. That should be fine as well. I think you guys have captured the screens over there, so it should be okay. <coughs> so, E01 was a vendor customer, customer lookup field. Okay. Where we see like when the customer will click on these three buttons, then okay. uh, these three options will co come select the vendor select customer or mm -hmm. nothing is selecting or default default has to be blank okay so those four you are thinking those uh, four scenarios mm -hmm. as part mm -hmm. of validating that requirement yeah okay so let, let me see uh, now you you are saying select the customer mm -hmm. uh, select the vendor nothing selecting so what does it mean when you say nothing selecting uh, from that scenario means uh, i see well, what are you trying to validate yeah, yeah. so when we press that button we see the select vendor select customer but we are trying to select on that but nothing is selecting okay like that that field is not selecting if i click on that field like that field is not selecting we thought of like that okay so you so, have select vendor is a positive scenario select customer is a positive scenario nothing selecting is a negative scenario right is mm -hmm. that what you are saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh, somebody else had a question. Go ahead. Um, I, yeah. I'm going to finish my thoughts later on. So uh, go ahead and ask the question. So we did nothing selected because the field is required. It should not be empty. So oh, that's taking, the reason. Yeah, okay. we are checking if is it okay to leave it uh, just like the empty, nothing okay. selected, need to be uh, accepted or not. I, have a I question. see. Yeah. Who, who, who is that? Go ahead, um, Sapnali. Sapnali, yeah. Um, isn't we getting everything from the database? So if nothing selecting, that means it's not connected to the database. Um, that's not really true, right? Because if, the, if there is no customer um, or anything, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you they, they you won't be able to see the list. Now I'm still on the first thing here. Okay, E01. Mm -hmm. So allow the selection of the vendor or customer that the product was received from. So I, I see your high level. So you're gonna click on three dots, the list will show up and you are trying to select particular vendor or customer, right? And that should that should be populated um, into the vendor customer list text box. Is that what you are saying, right? That's your scenarios are based on? Yes. Those, that's particular things. Okay. Now, how would you validate nothing selecting in that case? What, what 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 would trigger that nothing selecting i mean how, how would you test that um we are not going to click the three dotted button and select any of the customer so basically uh -huh. leaving the field blank but uh, if i leave if it's remember when you open the screen first time it is blank but what, what would trigger the nothing selecting rule or enforcement of the rule uh, so not selecting that and um, clicking the done button to save the uh, information, okay. it should not be saved because that field should not be empty. Okay, so is there a scenario for the done button that you identify that validates that condition? Or is there what you what you have? Or because right now yes. I'm seeing that as part of the customer vendor lookup field. Um, that scenario listed there, but you won't be able to validate that over there, right? Uh, because nothing selecting will not trigger unless you take some action, like a process another or cancel or, or done, whatever the or, trigger or is for that. Because we don't know how the system is, or if we go to the next field, maybe it's mm -hmm. given an error right there itself, like the above should not be empty or something like no, that. It, no, it won't be like that, no. It okay. has to trigger that rule. Uh, would that change your scenario here then? 
uh, for E01. <clears throat> Mm, but I still have to check uh, if the field is empty or not, as it is a mandatory field. I also right. have to check as it should not be empty. Right. Okay. So where? So you should have scenario. Do you have scenario for process another or done or yes. anything else? Can yes, you show me that can. scenario? Can you so uh, flip to that? Because that, that scenario, those type of scenarios should be listed really for that. Oh, so this scenario should be um, for process another or done? That is correct. Because uh, mm -hmm. you can have a positive and negative, right? For process mm -hmm. another or done. Yeah. So you, and you could say technically, hey, I <laughs> fill out all the required fields and process another. That would be whatever test data you start supplying, right? So for a particular customer, vendor, or whatever. And then you have another scenario for process another, which says, oh, nothing is, I don't select any of the fields, following fields, uh, including customer vendor. I don't do any skip, uh, skid, whatever, and uh, see what happens if I just click on process another on blank screen. That should have identified all the required fields for you as well. Okay. Isn't that what you guys were doing? I mean, uh, when you click on save in our flow, right? Yeah. It's just the cool. same thing, right? Same behavior. Does it make sense? I mean, it's, I think it's just uh, that you need to identify those uh, those sides, certain scenarios like that, okay? Yeah. To, with yeah. the right uh, right uh, triggers. Yeah, we got it. That's it, okay. All right, so let's see well, what, what else you had uh, over here. Uh, does anybody else have a question, I guess, before, before we say, yeah, we move on. Is everybody clear on what we discussed for for this particular field? Because you 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 all will have certain scenario like that for other modules that you have, whether it's a warranty shipping or cartridge inventory or anything else. Uh, Harsal, I have a question. Okay. Uh, as the vendor customer lookup field is uh, like the required is true. So can mm -hmm. we uh, keep it blank without selecting? Well, you can keep it blank, but will it allow you to save anything, right? Uh, when you click on done. Uh, so where does the save happen here, I guess? Do you, uh, do so you guys have a, when we click on the done? Done and process another as process well. Another. Process another, right? And, yeah, so another, that's yes. where you should be able to trigger all the all those things, all the rules as well. Because without that, you won't be able to know what is required, uh, whether the, the rules are firing or not. Yeah, so we need to fill up all the elements uh, on this page. That, that is correct. Or you fill up all the required elements or you don't fill up all the required elements, so that which would be a negative scenario for process another or done button, okay? Not for individual fields. Right, yes. So that, that should go in the test data of uh, whatever process and other uh, you, are, you are testing uh, that, that trigger. Uh, yes. Okay, all right. Marshall, uh, default has to be blank. That will also be not there, right? No, it, it, so if the screen is loaded with some value in there, that means you have to test that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Because you have to think through how you can test default as a blank only first time when when the screen is loaded or you click on if you fill out everything then click on process another does it uh, does it clear out the screen and show you the empty screen that that means you should see all the default basically values populated properly okay so this this would be the one of the test scenarios yeah yeah you you can you have to i mean uh, right otherwise if if it doesn't clear uh, mm -hmm properly or we go first time and there's some value populated there that you could have some issue as well. Okay. Right. Okay. Harshal, I have a question here. Yes, Anita. What is the default has to be blank? Is that a touch screen display? Yeah, it's a it's a empty field. That's that's what it says. Required or so, not required field. 
Yeah, so here in this example, you have vendor customer lookup field. It says default is blank. So when the screen is loaded first time, there is nothing populated in that field. Okay. So you have to validate that. Now, do you want to write a one scenario for verifying all the fields? When the we screen gave, is loaded? Yeah. We give that as a precondition that it should be uh, empty by default. Okay. Okay, yeah, I mean, you, as, as I said, I mean, as long as you validate that, you know, one test case versus you create a five test case for each field, again, it's up to you how you want to write the test case. I, I would write once, basically, making sure uh, when the screen is loaded first time, all these fields are blank, whichever needs to be blank, basically. Okay. Yeah. Thank Instead you. of uh, lumping, uh, creating separate scenarios for every field, okay? Because it does the same work, okay? All right, so I, I see that you guys wrote it on the each field, right? Uh, so that's the pattern I'm seeing for you guys, uh, this particular team. Um, so it's just a matter of reorganizing. <laughs> I, I, I see that you enter number, enter alphanumeric, enter alpha and uh, empty, right? Yes. Um, yeah. So I think uh, those are fine. You you guys can write uh, individual fields uh, for that. Yeah. Are yes. you interested? No, sir, what that? we thought this is a text field, so mm -hmm. user can enter only numbers or these combinations. Um. Again, it's number remember it's a uh, it's a text field, right? So it's alphanumeric field. So you have to apply all the rules. What are we specified for alphanumeric field? Like. Uh, so there is, a, there is a section at the top, right? You have the phone number field. You have alphanumeric field. What are the business rules applies for every any alphanumeric field? I, I don't know whether you guys, your team thought about it, but uh, it's uh, defined right at the top. Um, I think it's a page number 11 or 12 somewhere. Eight, page uh, eight. Page eight, yeah, some something like that. So you have to apply all the rules regardless. Okay. okay. They, 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 those rules are not repeated anywhere in the document. Mm -hmm. So mandate alpha, so 2.10.3, that, that's what it is. Mandate alphanumeric characters only, only string that contains any non-alphanumeric characters are rejected. So if I try to enter comma or dots or anything else, it should reject, that's what it means. Yep. So, Arsal, isn't it uh, that field that is common for all the names? All the fields, all the fields. And anywhere in the document, you see text. That's where all the rules apply. All the, all whatever rules are there. Anywhere it says text. Yeah. And uh, I have one more question. So, is there any length defined? Like uh, how many characters it should be? Like the vendor, customer? I can see only um select enter the alphanumeric characters or string but uh, is there like any length or any length it can accept okay that, so that's a good question that's a clarification point you guys should ask me and i would say yes uh, so there it's missing in the requirement document okay so it can't be unlimited number of characters yeah right? for the so, warranty id yeah. i can see 10 uh, 10 digit right right Right. But for uh, custom 11 digit, yes, 11 or 10 something, right? Yes, right. and that is a uh, alphanumeric. So, Herschel, that is our question uh, for you as a business sure. owner. You need to clarify this uh, alphanumeric and numeric, and also for customer vendor list, how many digits, like uh, how many characters, how many characters, characters we need to put, that is, uh, right, full right. name, partial name. Yeah, I, I would go with 50 uh, as, yeah. as a limit, okay, for the names and so forth. Okay. Okay, but uh, that, that's a clarification point. I'm glad you guys are asking now, so, yep. Thank you. Sure. All right, so let, let's stay on the screen and we will, we'll see if you guys have any other pattern or any other question on the specific one. So I think I'm seeing the pattern here for you guys, right? So you have, you picked out each field and uh, try to create the test cases for that. Now scroll down and I wanna see the process another and uh, those things. 
see what see what you guys came up with. Okay. Okay. Yep. Stay on this. Yeah. So process another. Click on the button. All fields must be blank when processing another precondition. Expect to successfully land on. Okay. So I am not clear because here, right? As we discussed, you need to think about what you should be what scenarios you will be having right positive negative scenarios like that required fields non-required fields and so forth for that I, I think you guys just copy paste uh, maybe the from the requirements document here Arsal, can i ask you something yeah so if I will check for each button individually, like four cases or something, how I will check for the entire screen then? That's so you need to think about what will trigger no, the I'm, entire I'm just screen rules. This, I'm checking this uh, means test uh, whatever papers uh, the team has given. Okay. Based on that, I'm telling because if I'm checking, um, let's say the vendor customer one, so uh -huh. I need to fill up all the information is whatever is required, then I can check that one rather yes. than uh, checking for each field because then I'll be confused like which case will be verified for the, uh, let's say process another or when I'm clicking that one. So uh, is this uh, something that your team is working on Sushri? or this is some other team? No, this is some other team. I'm, I'm just seeing okay. this so one. I, so I like to explain uh, if somebody from other team can explain what's the process is here uh, for this particular screen. Yeah, uh, that, that's or... what I want to know, like uh, why it right, is right. like uh, all the button yeah. ones, yeah. Yep, yep. So Dhanasri, uh, do you want to explain how the process in other works? Um, and uh, done uh, works as well. Like this. So the... Okay, go ahead, Nilima. Okay, so the pro if you have multiple uh, processes, that's when you click the process another one. And if you have like done with this one and you do not have anything else to um, enter again, that's when you do the done button. Both will save the document, the information you entered. But uh, once you click the process another, it will reappear with uh, all the cl clearing, all the data, and um, where you it's can enter an another process. That's what my right. understanding was. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any different understanding from your team, Tanasri, or whoever else is part of your team? Shruti. Yeah. Shruti and Tanasri, do you have anything else to add? Mm, no, we, so just we also start like that on the it's same okay. thing. So mm -hmm. think, I think, always think about uh, the the who is who is using the system, right? What what they are doing here. So they are receiving. So you are seeing on the screen here, vendor customer. So which vendor they receive the shipment from? Okay, because because they they are skid is a skid, right? It's it's a bunch of boxes in in a skid. You have you could have a case fill of cartridges as well. And then you could have just one box, maybe it's a small size box or something, fill off maybe five cartridges, something like that, right? But you could receive multiple skits from the same customer, okay? Um, who sent you all the cartridges in a skid case or box. That, that's how they are processing it. So let's say they receive the cartridge from vendor one, okay? So they, they will select the vendor one, they will enter whatever information came in, maybe shipping and tracking number. So every shipment has some type of tracking number, right? So they will enter that. Then they will have package type, what type of box it is. It's a skid, case or box, they will mark that. And they will they will say, okay, how many cartridges we received? And they, they will say the quantity, okay? Now, if they receive two skids or two cases or three boxes from the same customer, then they will click on process another. So certain information will be cleared uh, and uh, you have to look at what particular fields are getting cleared because it's from the same customer. They are processing another box from the same customer, right? Fill up maybe five cartridges. So they will at this, for this, this entry, they will 
vendor and customer list may not be cleared because it's from the same customer, but PO number and shipping tracking number might be cleared. Who knows, right? Um, but they will again select the box and they will say, oh, this box contains five cartridges. Previous one was 10. And then they will say, oh, this now we are done with uh, this particular shipment uh, that came from this particular customer. So I'm going to click on done, basically, at that point. Now I have, I'm going to take another shipment, which came from completely different customer and start entering them into the system. That's the process here. Okay, that's what they are doing on this particular screen from the business standpoint. Now, does it make the, now based on this understanding, are your tests, I think your test case should change what you come up with, hopefully. Uh, or do you guys have any question on that? And I think that hopefully, Sushi, I think that answers your question as well. Yes, yes, absolutely. I was on the same page. Means whatever you said, I completely okay. agree. Otherwise, it will be like a test case of only buttons, not the functionality. Right, right. Uh, that, that's correct. That's correct. I, I so, understand. Harshal, will you elaborate how, what will be the test case for this? So Yeah, so process another, right? So mm -hmm. you need to fill up the, as a high level scenario here, right? We are not talking about details here, but you, you need to fill out, you know that you have to fill out, okay, shipment came from the same customer. I'm cross clicking on process another. So I will, I will go through that cycle maybe a couple of times and information is saved in the database, okay? Or, or the backend. So if you go to the process another button, right? E06 here on the screen that you have, allows user to indicate there is to process another shipment from the same customer. The word hidden hidden here is from the same customer. Okay, click on the button. Precondition what you have uh, again. Film must be blank when processing another application. Now, is that really true? I do not know. You have to look into the process another. Uh, if you scroll down to the event section of the screen, on the receiving page, um, on no on the requirements. Another. Yeah, on the on the requirements. Yeah, go to the event section. It should tell you what should happen, okay? So this is a more like ex explanation, but here on this one. Okay. No, I think you are on the right page. You, you are on the right uh, right uh, previous one. Go to the receiving module. I every, think uh, page every, 18, 19. 18, 19, okay. Yeah. Go to the page 18, 19, yeah. The process another button. Right. Okay. So here, clicking on process another button saves the current data to the system and sets the user up to the receive another shipment. Now, one thing is not clear is what fields are getting cleared. Right. Uh, yeah. So I, uh, whatever yeah. is, uh, how, how many fields are saved. Right. Right. So fields will, information will be saved, right, with whatever, whatever I explained you earlier. And then it will be displayed again so that so the next can process another another shipment from the same customer okay so that's the whole point of process another now one thing is not he mentioned here i think they missed in the requirement is what fields are getting cleared when they click on process another versus done okay so um i'm, I'm telling you uh, vendor and customer list should should be there but uh, anything else should be cleared out as well Okay. So the same thing will be the for cancel button, done button. Uh, think about cancel button. Um, anybody else has a thought on that? What they are doing on the cancel, or, or tell, tell, explain me what you what you are thinking of cancel, uh, Danasri, based on what what discussion we just had. Yeah, yeah. So what we were thinking, like, okay, if I am putting all the data and I see, okay, I did something wrong and I just want to cancel this application. So I uh -huh. pressed on cancel. Okay. So the data will not save and okay. the new page will come. Okay. I, I think uh, that's a valid scenario. Uh, that, that's what you are testing. I think which is perfectly fine. So, but you need to validate that data is not saved, right? That's the important part. Okay. Because you canceled it, right? But so that, that, that is okay. Uh, expected result, right? The, when I press the cancel button, the data should not be saved. That is correct. So that that is your expect. That's what you are expecting uh, from the system should do. Yes. Right. Yes. 
yeah but for yeah. the about for about uh, about test scenarios what about uh, that? Uh, can there be multiple well you need to think it through right if i didn't enter anything if i click on cancel what would happen does it really matter um maybe not right because you didn't really have any information there mm -hmm. i think you should enter everything and then click on cancel and see yeah. what happens right that that would be the ideal scenario here okay yeah same uh for the done button too right when I'm putting well, that the would be very similar to the process another. Process, right? I mean, process uh, another, yeah. yes. Done would be similar to the process another. What I just, uh, what we just described, right? But done will take you to the home page. It looks like uh, that's what it says. So it saves the information and takes you back to the home page. That's what I'm reading from there. Okay. Is, is that what you guys are verifying in the scenario? So if you want to explain scenario basically what what you are trying to test here so fill up the information click on done and it should take you back to the uh, home page that, that's what the description i read on the done button event as part of the event mm -hmm. so that should be your scenario now if you are seeing anything else right if you want you could have negative scenario as well you don't fill out the required fields click on done see what happens mm -hmm. right it should force you to select at least something because it's trying to save some information at that point so Harshal, i have a yeah. question here right here uh, okay. when you try to do this way wouldn't mm -hmm. the system tell you these fields are required as per the document some fields are required and some are not required that is correct uh, it should uh, force you to show you so some type of error message or, or some indication say hey please fill out this information yes so similar now, see, question which fields are required yeah. right so you have to see it vendor customer lookup field okay required true that is required true. that yeah. is required true. anything else required um, can you scroll down uh, here that's the on only this? one is that the only one yeah that's that the only one uh, no 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 Herschel. that is the uh one more uh, one more thing the quantity button is quantity, like a yeah, quantity, quantity is required there yes. right because Th they want those are to the capture two things. Right, yes. because they want to capture how many cartridges they came in uh, yes. so that they can process them later on right so yeah yes. those two things are required which is perfectly fine okay so can and... you save the information without entering those two fields that's what you should uh, get an error message for okay yes. yes and also we want to clarify for that uh, cancel button as you okay. mentioned like uh, we need to enter all the fields so here mm -hmm. Should we go for the all the field or should we uh, go for only the required field, which will serve the purpose too? Um, I, I would, I mean, uh, which will serve the purpose for the cancel button, but I would. Uh, yeah, the ideal scenario would be all yeah, the fields should, you should enter. Fields, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't matter if you enter two, only mandatory two fields. Right. Or I, I would go with fields. all the fields as yes. well. Yes. Okay. Uh, now, okay. That is the ideal again, scenario. It it would cover all the other aspect, right? Uh, for the cancel, yes, uh, so, yeah. 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 definitely. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Um, so, any other question on this thing, uh, Dhanasri, in uh, your team, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, you guys have some correction, I think, but otherwise, on the right track. I mean, I can see the scenario, but focus on the functionality, right? As yes. we discussed yes. earlier. That's mm -hmm. our goal. So I think those events, so look at those events section if you haven't had a chance to look at those closely. Yeah, Because those are the ones you should be testing. I'm not there. able to write any test cases for the event section. We were confused like, okay, these, these events are uh, based on the requirements. Like the these are functional is. requirements and these are non-functional requirements. So they are related to each other. Uh, don't think it of as a functional and non-functional, okay? Uh, because these are everything is a functional here. Whatever requirements you have, it's just written differently. But you need to think it through when you read through all different sections, right? Related to the screen, you should see it how the user are trying to process or or basically process the information or or for the, that particular screen. That's the functionality. So there will be some test cases for the A0 to A4 too. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, definitely that has to be test cases for those. So is it, is it the core. same as like if I look into A02, uh, this is the event section. So is it, yeah. it's related to E06? The process. Uh, don't worry. I, I think the names uh, E06, right? I mean, you are looking at the particular field. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, the way it is document structure, right? So they have the fields, they have listed out. Then they have certain other, whether it's required or not, right? All the fields, some description, whether it's required or not, uh, and so forth. Then they have these events and business rules, those two sections. All so, three combined makes okay. it complete requirement. Okay. What I was thinking, like process another button is a button. And when I'm clicking on it, that is the event is A02. Um. So it's a button, right? But okay. what triggers that, right? I mean, uh, so some action will trigger that, right? So yeah. you're testing yeah. this action mm -hmm. and you are validating what happens when you click on that, uh, when you do that action or the user do, does that action. That's what you should be testing. And how that okay. fits into other fields, in, in uh, related to other fields. I mean, that's something you need to understand because it's, it's needed. Because all the rules are triggering when you click on process another uh, saving happens um, plus the mandatory field should be required and so forth uh, same thing with the done button and so forth so basically we did like ao1 to ao4 we did this uh, under the expected results because these are the results um, should be happen with the click of some buttons from e01 to e09 uh, yes, uh, technically that's correct. Yeah, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. And Harshal, okay. uh, will you explain the E zero four? Because uh, what I was thinking, like uh, A zero four or E zero four? E zero four. Okay. So uh, what I was thinking, like this will be the three uh, separated test case. But what Nelima think? This will be the one test case, and this will be the sub part of it. So we were confused about on this part. So, so let's see. Oh, so here, right? So I, I am looking at E04.01, right? Yes. So yes. skid button, it says allow user to indicate the product was received in a skid. Mm -hmm. So as I explained, right, what business mm -hmm. process it is. So they, they will say, oh, look at the box and say, oh, it's a skid versus case versus box. Yes. Now it needs to, what you are testing here, when this select particular thing, it changes the color. Mm -hmm. Is that what you are testing when you say E04, 1, 2, 3 yeah. separately? Because yeah. then you should say, oh, if I click on skid, uh, basically the item is selected and the color changes to red. That's your scenario. Yeah. Now, what right? we were thinking like, okay, there is one customer uh, that sent the cartridge only in skid. There is another customer that said the ca cartridge in one skid, two case, like multiple. Which is fine, which is fine, right? Uh, so they, they can do that. That's why you have process another mm -hmm. uh, and button. So one car, one, the one, one uh, test case and this, right? The E04 will be the one requirement and these three will be the lift. Um, so these three are kind of like a part of the selection, right? What? Uh, user is selecting here whether it's a skid case versus box mm -hmm. and what happens when they when they take that action on the skid versus case versus box so I, basically our question is can we uh, club these two skid case and the box together into one test case or should yes. we write uh, no you, you need to write the individual test case because you need, if you if you click on skid right it changes the color to red now, if you, what happens if you click on case right after that? So will it remove the color from the skid and uncheck it and make the case color red? Ideally, that should be the case, right? Um, yeah. Plus, when, the, when you click on skid, it changes the color to red. So we want to ensure that that functionality is working properly. Same thing, when you select case, it should change to red. Those are three individual things. So you should write separate test case for that. Okay. Now, some people could argue that, hey, those three buttons and they might work with each other. Can I club them? I click on skid, it changes color. 
the next step i can click on case changes color to red uh, and uh, basically click on box and changes color to red i i think uh, that that would be confusing if if you want if you do that route if you go there i route. know if if one of the one of the button is not changing the color the whole test right, case right. will be fail right. in it fact will fail. The, yeah 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 okay yeah yep, got yep. it we'll do three separate then and okay. uh, this will be the also testing here right nothing is selecting i'm pressing on those button and the functionality is not maybe working correctly i'm pressing no if you don't correctly. select anything right if you okay. never click on this thing okay right uh, if you let's say you are processing some shipment yeah, yeah, right but, but you don't select it and i'm right. done or save right so, so not, i mean it, yeah these are not required so you should be able to process it oh okay right okay. because I, I is it mark required are any of no, this no. thing required right no. so yeah okay mm -hmm. okay and oh, if we come to e09 we okay. we get confused like uh e09 is vendor lookup list right so we thought uh we are adding the vendor uh, already here right when we are clicking on these three buttons we are adding adding the vendor so why the vendor okay okay hey, hold on it? hold on so when you say adding the vendor can you explain that term what you mean by that selecting the vendor Dave. selecting the vendor okay yeah, sorry, okay sorry. that's what you mean okay yeah yeah mm -hmm. Right. So the vendor is already vendor or customer was al already added, and when I'm receiving, I'm just selecting like okay, which vendor or customer I got the cartridge from. Okay, so I think one scenario you guys are, I think, does anybody anybody can think of? I I don't know. I think that this particular scenario is everywhere, right? Uh, you have a bunch of uh, three dots, and you have something pops up. Yeah, the look anybody, up. Anybody look up right? Look up. Does anybody think of any scenario? Uh, that these guys don't have it here i mean right now all they are saying is hey we are just clicking on something shows up some list and then we will select somebody and th that's it that's all yeah, we are so Harsha, that is e01 and e09 also the same thing vendor lookup list so this is the vendor lookup list so we thought like mm -hmm. if we already added over here why we should have to add again again i'm confused by the terminology here um it's when you say add, add uh, Select. Sorry, okay. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. We already select the vendor or customer already over here. See, okay. if I'm filling the data for vendor or customer, I select sure. the custom vendor number one. Okay. So why should I have to select again vendor number one? What if you make a mistake, right? I mean, you, as a user, you can you 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 don't know. I mean, you might have selected clicked on the wrong wrong vendor. You want to select a different one. Oh, so this is just for like double check or make sure like. Yeah, I mean, uh, first time it works, but second vendor when you select, it doesn't it doesn't populate the right one. I mean, you could have that scenario. Isn't so we that are correct? selecting I mean, the same vendor or customer twice here. No, so first time, what I'm saying here is, uh, you click on three dots, some list shows up, right? First time, okay. Yeah. And you let's say you click on vendor one, that gets populated in the vendor customer list. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now, let's say you select a skid, you move on from there, and then you realize, hey, I selected a wrong vendor. So I'm gonna click on three dots again, so that it refreshes this list, whatever is shown for the customer vendor, and I can find, say, oh, vendor 111, I should be selecting. So I click on that, vendor 111, but this time it does not populate the right vendor in the vendor customer list. Because it could happen, right? First time selection versus uh, updating the information. It's a it's a different different thing. So we are doing the same thing on E zero one and E zero nine to just make sure the right vendor or customer is selected. Yeah, so that's the first thing. But again, you also need to validate that this whatever the list is displayed is not is 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 shown correctly. That that list is correct as well, not just the selection part. Right, because how do you know the list? Uh, whatever the list is shown, is correct. How how so would you validate that? Basically, we we wanted to um, in the test steps we wanted to add a new vendor or customer, right? And see if that is populated when we are selecting the three right. dots button. 
so the scenario here, I'm going to simplify it for you. That verify that customer vendor list populated is correct. That's that's the test scenario that you have. We thought of writing that in the test uh, steps. Yeah, because that's what you are verifying, right? Uh, yes. Verify yes. that customer vendor list shown on the screen is correct. That's that's your scenario. Yeah. Right. So you don't need to write more details. I mean, right? When we talk about scenarios, okay, what are we verifying? Okay, I'm verifying this list. I'm verifying that three dot functionality, which is a selection. So now let's say assuming list is correct. I'm going to click on three dots. It shows up some list. And when I click on vendor, it the vendor customer name is populated correctly in the box. So that would be your second scenario, right? Verify that customer vendor list is populated after the selection of the vendor from the vendor customer list. So that, that should be your second scenario. That's how you should be writing the scenarios, basically. Okay. I know you guys use some different uh, mechanism, which is okay, okay? I'm not telling it's wrong, but uh, ultimate goal is to come up with this type of scenarios. Okay, so we write down until here, Harshal, and we, we were confused for A0 to A4, like these are the events. Right, right. Those should be the main goal for, for your testing, okay? Uh, generally, the events are the main thing. Individual fields like, uh, okay, you, I, I know you guys are going to validate alphanumerics and all those things that which will apply to all the fields, which is not the point of, uh, I, I don't want you to identify all those scenarios because that's assumed that you will have some type of scenarios to validate the, hey, can I enter anything but uh, P, uh, in the PO number field other than alphanumeric value? You should apply all the rules. And I think Arshal, that is, uh, that's why it is there in the top of the requirement. That's correct. That's correct. Because they don't want to repeat those rules separately for individual fields. They say, hey, I'm going to give you all the rules at the top, which are most commonly applied to water fields, whether it's a numeric field or alphanumeric field or whatever. And you should be testing that. So if... Uh... If I look into the process another button, uh, what will be the test scenario, Harshal? Um, I think we just discussed, right? For A02. Yeah, so can anybody else want to take a stab at it? Instead of me telling you the scenario, uh, anybody else uh, have any thoughts? What are the two scenarios or three scenarios, we, whatever? We have different scenarios saying, we also have an active button for the customer vendor. So uh -huh. we just took a scenario where it says display all active customer vendor. Another says display all the customer vendor, whether they're active or not. And my third one was no data thinking that it's not connecting with the database, but definitely if you say um, there's no customer or vendor, I think so we have to shoot a query to check what is there in the table. Right. I mean, uh, it's, 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 well, you, you can, you can write a query yourself, right? Because you are mm -hmm. a QA. So you should be able to write the query to see what data is already there, or mm -hmm. you have to set up the test data, basically some test customer, you should be able to do that uh, as well uh, oh. in, in the table. I guess I have, like, I just wanted to, I wanted a clarification, like, where do we write the query to check whether the data, like the table is having customer or vendor? Like, um, on the field? Again, this, remember the system is not built yet, right? And you are writing your test cases. So as the data becomes more available, if they start mm -hmm. building it and they give you the system, you should, they will get you access to the to create the test data and so forth. Okay. Right. So Harchel, so, yeah. here when we are saying a scenario for display of the A01 to A04, isn't mm -hmm. it the expected result instead of writing a test case? Can't we just show uh, those actions should be done as expected results? Um, when we talk about the scenario, Nilima, I think um, you need to think through how um, scenario is a little bit different than the actual steps, right? So expected result yeah. comes in the steps, right? I mean, uh, so, but that's the ultimate goal of your scenario. That's what you want to verify, that things are okay. working properly. But in the scenario wise, I mean, uh, like other one I mentioned, right? You don't, don't necessarily have to have say, hey, this is the expected result. But if you process another, as long as you understand the business process here, 
I fill out everything. I click on process another. The information should be saved uh, with the, all the whatever is entered, right? So that's the one scenario. If I fill missed out some required fields, if I click on process another now, you as part of the selecting the required fields, right? You have to go through other steps like select the vendor, customer list, and all those things. But ultimate goal is I want to verify that. I'm not able to save the information and I should get some type of error message right on the screen so that I can correct basically. So that would be the negative scenario you want to test for process another. Yeah. Now, if you think of anything else, what if I just click on process another without entering any information? What should happen? That would be your third scenario. Same thing with the other event driven items, right? What happens for with the done button? Similar things with just like process another. Process another might clear out certain fields, as I as I said, provide you clarification. Done should clear out whatever is expected, right? Whatever it says, and, and, and it, the user. And uh, and it will stay on the same page. It yeah. will not. And, it will not go to the home page like when we click on done button. Well, here it says when you click on done button, it uh, saves the information and then navigates the user to the home page. So that's your requirement, right? As part of the done yes. button. Yes. So, but that, you, but that is not again, the case for the process another. That is correct. So that's the difference, right? Plus, yes. you you can think of positive scenario, negative scenario, right? All other things should have also happen with that. Required fields, non-required fields. Would would yes. you be able to save the information? So those are the additional scenarios. For done button, same, same, similar to the process number. I hope uh, did this uh, helps you guys, uh, the Rasri and uh, Nilima. Yeah, it is. Thank yes. you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Don't just think of in terms of E zero six or something. I look look at the whole requirement, receiving page. Try to mm -hmm. understand the, from the business standpoint and uh, see uh, if you can uh, create the scenarios based on that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So there might be some correction on you guys. Okay. But I like to see at least uh, uh, cover with those cancel done process another uh, in the vendor customer, those business event type of scenarios, mm -hmm. uh, finalize it and uh, work through that. Okay. So we are only uh, writing the test scenario, right? For today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the goal was to so you should also have the test cases, but I think your scenarios may not be correct mm -hmm. uh, for those business processes. So I would like you guys to spend some time on that. Yeah. And yeah. just just uh, just work through that, and then 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 write it. We, we will have enough time to work through the project, right? So it should okay. be okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the team number two. Other teams. See who are wants to present, see what, what they have produced. Anita? Yeah, I, uh, can I go ahead, Harshil? Yes, uh, go ahead, Anita. I'm hoping uh, the, the discussion that we are having helps other team as well, so. Yes, yes, uh, and many yeah. some okay. using it. Yeah. Sure. So we have written uh, trees like this. We have written tree okay. for identical button. Okay, can you flip to the screen uh, if you have that document open? Uh, yeah. So that just to give the perspective of uh, those things first. Yeah. Page 22. This 22, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you can uh, share that uh, document as well. I know you guys have the complicated screen here, but I think uh, hopefully, let's see. Okay. Um... This one. Can you able to see my screen? Uh, mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, we can still see other screen. Uh, Anita, yes, the drawing. The preview right now. Okay, and this one. I can uh, see if you can stop sharing and share yeah, the whole. Oh, okay. Yeah, hold the whole desktop, maybe. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, okay. So this is the cartridge inventory page. You have a bunch of buttons on the screen. I think something similar like customer vendor, or some lookups. And if you scroll down. Okay. Okay. So that's where you have identical different from start, reset and set defaults and all those uh, business process type of uh, buttons, right? Yes. And the, the, the events are tied to the identical different from start. Uh, done. I think these are done and cancel at the top as well. Yes. Uh, done and cancel. Okay. So those are similar to the other ones. Okay. Now you can flip to the scenarios that you have. So okay. for, the, for the identical button, uh, like if you click on the identical button, it should clear some fields and it should, the cursor should be uh, placed in uh, wait field. Okay. First, so we have written the scenarios like uh, uh, like uh, uh, fields are not clear, data should be saved, and the cursor should be it. Uh, it should go into the wait field, and uh, okay. different uh, uh, like test cases for the to check like wait wait field is clear, damaged it is cleared, warranty eligible, it is this uh, like all these scenarios. Okay, okay, wait, wait. So scenarios. Um, did anybody else has any question? Uh, Somebody said. Actually, uh, Harshal, we just we are taking that fields not clear is a negative scenario, whereas all these are a positive scenarios. That is, data is being saved once we click on the identical button. Fields okay. to clear is the next thing that will happen. It is going to clear all this field. So we are going to check. We are going to write a test case, which when we say fields to clear, we're going to check all this together. And okay, then so the cursor is placed in the wait field. Okay, so if I understand correctly, fields uh, data saved, mm -hmm. fields to clear, and cursor into the wait field. Mm -hmm. All three is happening when you are clicking on identical button. Yes. Yes. Not individually, right? No. No. Like a data saved, and so you need to test together. together. Okay. If All any right. of those things, uh, those mm -hmm. three things are any of them doesn't work that means your whole scenario will fail so what i would say is identical mm -hmm. button right mm -hmm. uh, and then say positive scenario because those three arrows right on the right side okay uh, yeah. they are part of the positive scenario so you are filling out some information clicking on identical button okay. right your mm -hmm. data has to be saved field has to be clear and cursor needs to go into the wait field okay. without that that requirement is not complete right yeah. So that's a one scenario that you can technically have. Okay. They are that. not separate uh, scenarios. Now, as okay. part of clearing the field, you want to make sure the weight is clear, damage is clear, warranty eligibility is clear, warranty ID is clear. Okay. So those those are your expected thing, right? If you think it that way, high level, what is the outcome of my scenario? That thought has to meet meet that requirement. I mean, in order to meet the requirement, everything has to be implemented. Okay, so even the data not saved will be one of the test scenario? Well, data not saved, that's not a separate scenario. All I'm saying is data has to be saved, mm -hmm. field has to be clear, and cursor into the weight field. So you have, you, you have multiple things to verify at the end, right? Okay. It's not like individual things. Uh, first time you enter information, you click on identical button and you say, oh, data is saved. So I'm good. I'm going to pass my scenario, test case. Mm -hmm. That's not how, how it is. What if the fields did not clear? Okay, got it. Got what, what if the cursor didn't go into the wait field? Mm -hmm. all right? comes so you cannot there. pass that scenario. Everything has to pass at the same time. Okay. Okay. So here I, I would word it this way, right? Clicking on identical button. I mean, uh, I, I'm not sure what the wording looks like, but here the what you are testing is your scenario is fill out all the mandatory or required fields or whatever fields you identify as required. And click mm -hmm. on identical button. So it it then the verification would be data is saved, fields cleared, whatever fields you have mentioned below that and the cursor goes to the wait field. That would be one scenario. 
Now, second scenario would be you, you fill out all the required fields or no, you fill out, you miss some certain fields, right? Mm -hmm. you, you don't fill out everything and you click on identical button. Obviously you should get some type of error messages, right? Mm -hmm. uh, because your data is not saved and you, you're going to stop right there. Okay, so right Be because the th th that's how I mean, uh, that's how it should work, right? Because you're expecting the error messages because you did not fill out the required fields. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, but talking. here, right, in the in the in the positive scenario, you make sure you fill out everything your warranty is generated, right? Then only your fields will be cleared, right? Otherwise. Uh, if you market warranty, no, eligible, no. Would you have warranty ID? Yes. If you market warranty eligible, no. No, so, it will oh, not okay. generate yeah. warranty. It will not, right? Yes. So yeah. you probably want to break it down that further, okay? So okay. positive scenario, you might say, okay, I'm going through warranty eligible items. And uh, so that one will clear out certain fields because that's one so something you can break it down, right? Okay. Okay. So you can have two positive scenarios, one with the warranty eligible item and one without non whatever without a warranty eligible. And you click on identical. Okay. Okay. I hope I'm making some sense. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Getting what you're trying to say. Okay. I think your tree is uh, incorrect uh, or basically it's not representing the right thing. Okay. okay. The, the, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, so, hold on. If you go up, go up, go up. So here, identical button. So you have two positive scenarios, one negative, you will definitely have it. Uh, and the positive scenario will have two things, warranty eligible uh, and non-warranty, uh, warranty not eligible, right? So those two things, you have to test it before there. You could have multiple, um, uh, maybe additional things as well. Uh, so this is going to be positive negative and under positive negative it is going to again branch like for yeah the... definitely definitely okay. yep yep because your fields to clear where is depending on whether it's a warranty eligible or not right that, that's that's mm -hmm. the thing and you want to you want to test that yeah if it's warranty eligible then it should clear three three fields if it's non warranty eligible then it should maybe clear two fields uh, and so forth <laughs> Okay. Okay. Anita, I'm making right. it. You can, uh, we can go for the next one also. Yeah. Okay. So this is the next one for from okay. lookup fill. So if we click on from lookup fill, like uh, it should display the alphanumeric listing of vendors and customer. And okay. uh, we, we can select a customer or vendor. So here it displays add to customer and vendor list since uh, it has active and non-active. Uh, so what, what are you verifying there? Uh, so display active customer and uh, vendor. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, it's on the so page. All the, oh, from the page. So the, list, um, so the list that you display, uh, that is displayed, includes all the active and not uh, active customers and vendors only, active only customers and vendors? Yeah, uh, actually, it should display all customer and vendor. Uh, yeah, I think. Or, or active only. No, it should display all customer and vendor. Okay. okay, another one minute. We have, actually, we have a question, like, are we supposed to see whether the customer or vendor is active? Because uh, if he's active, then only he's going to be a part of this cartridge inventory. That is one question. Secondly, or it's going to just display all the customer and vendor. We are not going to take into account whether the customer is active or not. That no, is you should uh, take it into account active or not. Yeah, because you don't want to display an active customer vendor because that list can grow. You don't yeah. want to display thousands of uh, inactive ones. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's a clarification. I think uh, it will apply to all other modules as well. We just want active, right? Yes, active active customer vendor list. Active only. Okay. 
so the if the active one fails if you are seeing the inactive that means uh, you don't need the third scenario here display all customer vendor because you should never mm. see that we can delete that yeah okay it's a failure of the first one so and uh, no data it is not displaying nothing and displays the correct list so do we need to check this also it is well, how, how do you, well, that's what you are verifying, right? It's a display, mm -hmm. should display correct list, but uh, so how would you verify that? That should be part of your test case, right? Yeah. So it's not a separate scenario here. It has to be correct, the first of all. Okay. So that's, that's a, that should, I think, covered under the first one. Okay. We just right, please. because correct, why do you want to display incorrect list? I mean, uh, yeah. that, that wouldn't be your scenario, right? Mm -hmm. okay. So you have two scenarios. I can see it here: display active customer and vendors, mm -hmm. uh, and, and no data. Meaning, I mean, uh, are you trying to say there is no list being displayed? Yes. Or so okay. why don't you just say that uh, this? Uh, because no data is not clear, right? What uh, what is that you are testing? But no data is like. Uh like we have customers and vendors but it's it is not they all displaying. are inactive they are all they are all inactive is that what you are saying uh, no or no, it's they, not they could be well if if you are saying it's not displaying that means it's a failure of the first one right okay i i am just asking you i mean okay, isn't okay. that yeah, what yeah. You I'll, I'll i'll say the display active customer and vendor, as I said, whether they are active, they are going to display. No data is like um, here also. You said that the system is new and we are just testing. So do I have a question like we do have customer and vendor as a tester, do we need to fire a query to check whether uh, the, the table is having some kind of customer and vendor, but it's not displaying in the touch screen area? No, if there is no table with nothing populated in the back end, you should be able to populate that. I mean, uh, as a test data, right? I mean, the only way I can see no data is a scenario where you can test it is you have all the customer vendors, but they are all inactive or you are just trying to see what happens when uh, the customer vendor list is empty. If I click on three dots, what would happen? That's what okay. you are testing, right? Um, yeah. You should see only no, nothing. Nothing should be popular in the list in that case, right? If there is no customer vendor, so you should you can put that scenario. But just uh, what all I'm saying is, your yes, no data scenario is not clear description wise. You should put like, what 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 is that you are testing? What's your goal? So nothing what, displays. Or... Yeah, nothing displays. If there if there is no customer exists, that should list is uh, empty. Empty list on empty what list. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we can get empty list. Yeah. Or all all inactive customers are there. Nothing is shown again. So no data type of thing. You can have two more scenarios. One without any records, no customer, nothing, a blank customer vendor list. Mm -hmm. uh, or you have every you have customer vendors, but they all are inactive. Okay. It will it should it shouldn't show any anybody in the list right because they all are inactive so you can break it down that no data into two two further test cases okay um, anita we can go for the scenario and then yeah. we can let's focus on the scenarios yep first or make sure you guys get it right mm, no here it is not there I, I can go, uh, I, I don't see scenario, I have the template here. We have written this one. Okay, we can go with the template. Actually, I wanted to ask. Um, so, Pranali, I would hold off uh, for the test case until mm -hmm. we go through the scenarios. I want to make sure you guys have it, uh, other ones. Okay, uh, 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 so I'm sorry. Uh, can you able to see my screen? I yeah, have the yeah. scenario for this one. Okay. So here uh, we we are logging in as a cartridge admin for the customer lookup field. Okay, so, hang on. So other other screen you are you guys don't have anything else? Uh, 
for the other one? Uh, oh, we the, the tree scenarios, we still have some, but they are almost the same thing. So we thought we can. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. this is our OEM button. Why? Can you flip to the screen, uh, Anita? Uh, flip to the actual screen. Okay. Screen. Yeah. This one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What you are saying here is uh, OEM, right? Okay. So these are the buttons, right? So this changes the color. Is yes. that what you are testing? Okay. Now you can. Uh, so nothing, nothing else happens other than the color. Yes, and it just disables, enables the remanufacture. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we thought, okay, we can make it more like all this are like a toggle button. They change color and they deactivate some of the fields from the form. Okay. So we still are like we are working on it, not completely done. But, okay. Um, yes. So. That's fine. So, you don't have to. I mean, if you if you think it's kind of like a repeated work, just uh, focus on the other other ones. Yeah. Right. Because OEM bottom, yes, no, they all do the similar things. Yes. But so, let's just see what you are doing here. OEM bottom disables manufacturer lookup field. Uh, and no action. So this one, I'm assuming you guys are still working through it. Is that correct? Or this one is a completed yeah, we, one. Yeah, I think for working. this one, OEM button for only this two. Uh, can you go flip to the screen now? Okay, so you are saying OEM button, and no, so it disables to, some. Because uh, if it is OEM, then the manufacturer button won't be disabled. For oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. So, so remanufacture button button will be disabled. Okay. Yes. Okay. So is that the button three dots or you are talking about the remanufacture? What is being disabled? Is there the three dots well, they can click on? Uh, this total field. Yeah. This uh, we are expecting that uh, this is going to be disabled. Like we cannot select it. We cannot uh, do anything. Select the remanufacturer, field. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then that's what you are saying. Okay. Sounds sounds good. Only when you click non OEM, then you, then it's uh, enabled, and you should be yes. able to select the remanufacturer. Okay, yes. okay, gotcha. Okay, all right. I think I, I got it. Working. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So let, let's see what. Uh, so you yes, have the identity identical one, um, and I think uh, you guys are almost there. I there's some little bit tweaks you need to do, but I think otherwise it's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. let's flip to the other one, or whatever else you have. Uh, for test scenario, we wanted to just go ahead, but I don't know whether we are supposed to check this right now. Um, one more question. Are we supposed to, the way we used to do the dealer manager, we used to create the user here. We don't have to do that, right? We just go for the URL login as started admin from That's the- correct. That's correct. From um, the but yeah. Sopnali, so this is a different module, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so what are we talking here? Are we talking about scenarios or the actual test case? These are like uh, test case. Discuss. Yeah, it's like uh, we are thinking about something like Cucumber also because it's like uh, they are steps, right? Given then like- uh, no, Don't think uh, because uh, this one is a uh, scenario, right? I mean, uh, yeah. or, or you guys are done with the scenarios part. Yeah. I'm just trying to see, I mean, where this fits in. Uh, so are we reviewing the scenarios or the actual steps? Uh, these are the steps, actually. Okay. This, is, this is only so one. So let's hold off, hold off on that, okay, yeah. for the steps. Okay. Uh, okay. And we will come back to that, yeah. okay? So let me, let me see if another team has a chance to review that before we actually dive into the actual steps. Okay. Okay. Because it might help them as well. Uh, what we discussed. So, okay. Uh, who are uh, which is a team three? Is it uh, Deepal and? Yes, we are. Okay. So we are the one who are uh, looking into the warranty documents. Yes, warranty. Okay, gotcha. Yes. Okay. So let me share the screen. So here is the, here is the, are you guys able to see it? Yes, yes, I, yes, we can. yes. Yeah. so this is our uh, uh, Google Drive uh, um, 
for the whole project. And okay. we, we try to do it, uh, put the, all the documents in here, whatever, whoever has done it. But okay. uh, I want to be upfront. We wrote down the scenarios, but we didn't put the leave scene that you uh, you all are talking and showing us as uh, Let me work. see what, what you guys came up with. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's fine. If, if you don't have to have the right uh, same format as other teams, I just want to yes, see your exactly. thought process. Okay? Yes, so if you, let me know if you can see the uh, this yes. screen, the warranty yep. information yep. scenario. So okay. this is a page number 43. And okay. can you click uh, to the screen as well and yes, uh, tell I, let me the context. bring it to the yes, let me do that. Can you see that? Yes, I can. Yes. So uh, I want to just. This is the warranty slipping list. Uh, I oh, you sorry about that. Slip. It is yeah. a 43. Yeah, OK. Yes, let me go to the, that is the wrong number. Um, can you see it now? It is page number 39. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. Yes. OK, so warranty ID, defects, selection, and ready to ship processes, score, parts recovery, and cancel. OK. I think I'm good, yeah. Yes. So you can flip back to the other one to talk about the scenarios or what are you testing, I guess, on this page. Yes, so here is the uh, screen in warranty department or warranty sure. section where okay. uh, users are trying to process the warranty. So mm -hmm. first uh, element is warranty ID number. Mm -hmm. That is generated from the page number 22 when the cartridge inventory is happening. Okay. And it shows that this uh, cartridge is uh, damaged. That's the only way this warranty ID can generate. So sure. the first uh, uh, scenario is this three dots. So mm -hmm. that is the ability to search warranty ID number from warranty ID lookup field. So okay, so, okay that, if you can go back to the screen, just flip it. To the main screen, the yeah, yeah. Okay. warranty let screen, me, yeah. Yes, let me just go ahead and do that. That would be easier to talk mm -hmm. for. To, yes, so here you can see the warranty ID number. When you click mm -hmm. on these three dots, mm -hmm. it will uh, populate uh, the 11 digit alphanumeric list of warranty okay. IDs. Okay. And uh, we can test this scenario by adding all the information on page number 22 and save okay. it and come back on to this screen and okay. check that particular ID is here or not. Okay, gotcha. So you're expecting to see some warranty ID and uh, yes. selecting that so that you can process uh, whatever, do the additional steps here. Okay, yes. so that's, but so your scenario that, is, uh, what is your scenario here? I mean, ab so you have to the search, list. Yes. But, but yeah, we ahead. have a question here, Harshal, because okay. we are we, we need to do that, right? Here to get the uh, warranty number for that particular ID. But in the document, it says it is not required. So what are we doing here with what cartridge? That's we couldn't understand. Because if it is this item is not required, and if we don't select here anything, then what are we doing here for which cartridge? Right, right. So it is it is required. I think document has it wrong. So let me just correct it that way. Yes. So that okay. was our first thing on okay. that one. Sure. So I'm going to correct that. And I'll say, yes, make it required. Yes. That's the only way. But this page can work. That's correct. So first thing is that one. So, okay, here, so here, so your scenario here is you're gonna see it. Anything is populated here. Uh, so yes. I, would you do, would you think of multiple scenarios here, or there would there be only one scenario that hey I'm gonna see the list here and I'm going to populate warranty ID, and that's the only thing you're gonna check. Yes, we we thought that's the only one way. Right now we are thinking to go with it, but. This is like my, my thinking as we go to the process as a core, then 
how can we create that? Because a process as a core is uh, something that when the when the cartridge is uh, a cartridge is not ready to ship and no, uh, no, it is going. Um, Herschel, if I'm not wrong, I think what you are asking okay. is like, is it the only warranty ID field you are concerned about or you are checking the functionality of any of the like ready to ship or processes core or parts recovery? Is that uh, what you are asking, Harsha? Um, so what I'm asking is for warranty ID. So I'm, I'm, I understand that you will validate, uh, you, that you, you will select some warranty uh, from the list and it will get populated, right? So that, that's that's the part you are checking. And I think that's the scenario you have listed there. Is there any other scenario that you can think of for the warranty ID? If you don't, then that's okay. I'm just asking that. We, we thought about the only positive scenario here yeah. and the negative, okay. which we cannot find out the warranty ID. That's the only two scenario we thought and we moved forward okay. uh, to that's the fine. another that's field. Fine. Yep, okay, that, that's okay. Yep, so let's move on. Let, let's see the next one, right? Yes, so the second one is currently selected problem, uh, the mm -hmm. E02, uh, okay. which is a, we, uh, that field actually, um, it's a name of the scenario is a ability to, uh, ab, uh, let me, Oh, if you flip the through deck. the scenario, yeah, yeah, exactly. The, uh, that's yeah. way you guys you can yeah. see it. Can you see it now? Yep, yep, gotcha. Okay, so ability to check functionality of cancel button. Okay. So we didn't so write down the it. yes. Uh, so I, I think that's the functionality uh, of cancel button. Uh, but can you describe how you you plan to test it? Because that's what I'm expecting for the scenario. What what is that you are testing? Yes. The ability to so check for, functionality. I mean that does that's not a scenario name, okay? Uh, like you guys to come up with uh, better, get better at uh, describing the scenario. Uh, okay. That is the requirement, so right? what? Yeah. So this is a requirement. So I think you need to. So here, you let me just just help you guys, okay? Because I yes. I've seen the, with the other teams as well. Uh, but what you are testing is select the warranty ID. Right, that's what you are gonna do. Select the defects and everything, whatever is on the enter notes, maybe. So enter all the necessary fields and then click on cancel and see what happens. It should not be able to save the information and uh, do whatever action that I, you. I, I think to. that is what we wrote in the test test um, the scenario. Um, if you flip back to the project itself, it should be there. Okay. Yeah, so here is our test case too. So Herschel, that was our first uh, uh, kind of confusion. Show me the second thinking. one. Yeah, second, show yeah. me the second one, cancel one, so that I can clearly relate it yes. to what you yes. have described here versus uh, uh, hold on. whatever it is in the test let, case. Let, let me go back. Let me stop sure. the uh, stop sharing because it is somewhere. Okay. Yeah, because the scenario tree, right? I mean, you are just describe what is the high level thing you're gonna do, yes. plan to do. That that's what it is. So. Um, Kobe, that's a cancel button is uh, in your thing because uh, I cannot open it with the Mac document. Okay, hold on. Comment. Yeah, go ahead, Kobe. Uh, share it. So Herschel, here we want to understand and learn uh, how to write the scenario um, because we we thought this is we need to go in the brief. That's why we sure. wrote down ability to check the functionality. We all uh, want to understand, uh, uh, is it supposed to be very small and specific and then leaves and the test cases, the titles are gonna be more in detail. Yeah, so I mean, so remember, there is no right and wrong way. Okay, I mean, I'm okay. I'm telling you, uh, it's there is no right and wrong. But what, what as long as your scenario says this is what you are doing and this is the outcome, uh, that's a, that's what that's all it boils down to. Okay, 
somebody is taking a look at that one line and say, okay, that's your scenario. That's what you are testing and it's good. Then you can write down all the details, preconditions, blah, 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 all those things. Yes, because we, we wrote down first all the uh, requirement as a uh -huh. uh, scenario and then we thought like uh, this is the scenario then what is our test title and what is our summary because everything yeah, you, looks I mean, exactly the same scenario and title could be same i mean i'm not saying it cannot be different but if you have positive scenarios negative scenarios your titles could be different as well uh -huh, um, but okay. i think i'm looking at looking at here right to validate this cancel button is functioning okay summary i can clearly see it um Precondition is okay. Uh, URL says now here one one thing I don't see it here, right? Again, I see the title as ability to check functionality of cancel button, right? So that's the title I see. But again, I am you you can describe it more clearly here, okay? Because remember, I I don't see there is no step for uh, what is it? Fill out the fields provided again. Are you filling out all the required fields or are you filling out everything? It's not clear to me, right? Okay. So that should reflect that, but that is important part here. Okay. I think that, you, so you need to describe that in the title as well. Okay. Check okay. functionality of cancel button after filling out required fields, whatever. Okay. Or again, how are you wanna describe it, but it just make it more clear. That, that, okay. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. Right, because your expected behavior could be different depending on what you fill out and so forth. True, true. Right, so, so just need to reflect in the title. Yep. Kobe, okay. you can share the other documents. You can able to see it too. Okay, give me just a second. Obi, are you sharing anything? Yes. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? Yes, I can. Yeah. Um, which one was she? On? I think this one. Uh, six point ten. Uh, this one, Kobe, the fourth one. Yes, that's the one. No, hold on. Just a second. <laughs> Uh, Kobe, I think we lost uh, your screen. Kobe? Right here. Okay. Uh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Okay, so can you go, go up to the... Uh, so are we talking about the scenarios now, right? Uh, that, that, that's, that's the focus, so... 
how to make sure you guys have the right scenarios here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think you guys will correct a little bit description, right? Okay. Why well, after yes. filling out required document, right? I think I that did makes that. Sense. Okay. Yes. I think uh, that makes sense. That's how it should be. Okay. Uh, I think it, it explains clearly. Okay. okay. So okay. I think that, that's all we, we I'm looking at. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, filling out required documents. You click cancel. Yep. Now, one thing you can say is uh, what will trigger the check? What, what, what does it mean check, right? By click clicking on cancel button right so you can be as specific as that that's the action you are taking to, uh, for cancel button so instead of saying ability to check functionality of cancel button you can mm -hmm. just say click on cancel button after filling out required documents that's okay. your scenario okay. that's what you are doing um, so instead of ability to check functionality of cancel button okay okay yeah yeah Okay, ability to select category that is associated with specific defect from category list or ability to view the list of category list. So while you are modifying, I'm just looking at the next one. And I think uh, it's not clear what, what is your scenario he here, okay, in the next one. So Deepal, uh, do you think you can correct that or, or your team can correct that? The third Based one on or second one? Third the one. Third one. Yes, we can correct that. Okay, so tell just describe me what, what is that you are testing? Uh, what's your goal okay. of uh, that scenario? Uh, hold on, let me pull out the screen, uh, the original screen. Okay. Hold on. Yes, so this. Uh, so uh, here we are trying to the the. Here we are trying to select the specific defect from the defect list from the okay. category list, which okay. is a category list is uh, E E zero six. Uh huh. And that that's a that's our thing here for this particular scenario, and that's why we wrote down ability to view, or the other way is ability to view the list of category list. Okay, so when you say ability to view, right? So you need to clearly describe what, what, so I'm still confused on the description here, okay? Uh, specific defect from the category list. Because this category what, list what is- What is your a... goal? I mean, so are you just verifying that list is displayed? Is that what it is? Yes. The list is there, and we are uh, we are going to we are able to select the one of the defect. Okay, and what's what's what happens when you select it? Once uh, we select that defect, the exactly the next uh, list is the defect list. So that defect list uh, will populate the defects like a defect one, defect two, defect one. That uh -huh. defect particularly associ associated with that category, defect category, that one okay. we selected. All right. So, so it I will you... adjust it. Okay, look at the events, right? Again, I will ask you guys to go back to the event, see what happens when you say, I select a specific defect, what should happen? Do you have the document open? Yes, People? yes. Uh, or, so when we... or, yeah, can you go when pull we... up the document? and uh, pull up that page for the event from there. Yes. Because I think you guys wrote down the requirement here, ability to select, but I, I, I don't think that's this is the right um, thing. Uh, Harshal, okay. can I share my thought? Uh, yes, let's say, yes, go ahead, Sushri. Yes, yeah, ahead. I have done like uh, for the, the functionality of ready to ship button where I'm checking all Sushi, this. Uh, uh, did you write uh, this one category list? Scenario. Yeah, the scenario is uh, there for the ready to ship button because it is required. The defects are required. Right, for... right. Yes. But so you, you yes, wrote scenario, it down. Yeah. And, yeah, yes. So you wrote it down that step as yes. part of your ready to ship. But but you also have a separate scenario that tests the functionality of uh, that this particular list. Okay. So I think we are talking about list here only specific list what happens if i select category i think that's what i think uh, this scenario is about if i'm not mistaken is that correct people 
Yes. So uh, right. the description uh, is on page number 41. Uh, the action that happens with the correct uh, category Event. list. Yeah, can you go to the events section okay. and see what happens? So okay. event is on page number 40. And it says displays a list of button that are used to indicate a, indicate which category a specific defect is associated with. The buttons in the list uh, color ch change color when they are selected. Yeah, so that's that's what you will be testing, right? First yes. of all, you need to verify that color is changed when yes. you select something, and the, whatever the subcategory list is displayed is correct, right? So you yes. need to be very specific on that. Okay. So here you, you guys wrote down the requirements. I see all everything is more like a requirement. Uh, okay. So you need to translate that into your scenarios, basically, those requirements. How would you do that? Just describe what you just told me. Yes. Uh, which is coming from the events. So uh, event section. E yes. Right. So I think you yes. just need to correct all those things. I mean, translate it. Uh, yes, yes, same thing absolutely. With the process as core. What would happen? I mean, I'm not clear on the scenarios there. I think Susri has explained me earlier. Susri, do you have the scenarios written down for? Yes, yes, yes I have. Okay. Uh, I'm sharing my screen. Yes. Okay. Now, have you guys reviewed as a team uh, whatever that you guys have produced? I'm just. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is what we have done as a team. Everybody okay. was pitching in, everybody okay. was getting on the same page. And then okay. we wrote down this one. And uh, that's why I was asking you because uh, all right. we all are thinking that time, okay. like, uh, do we need to go in a very short um, and very small, like, uh, uh, and then we need to go uh, further as a detailer to write down Not the, the detail, but your scenario needs to describe what, what is that you plan to do with your with your test case, uh, basically. It's kind of like okay. a summary of test case or how are you cover Again, there's a blurry line between that, mm -hmm. but scenarios are scenarios. I guess you, it's a high level, right? What piece of functionality you are testing and what is the expected outcome as a high level? Each test case will de describe all the steps, precondition, post-condition, all those things. And mm -hmm. maybe test title or test summary will have more details in there. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but uh, but you uh, you guys understand right when we, when we talk about uh, cancel button right okay you are doing certain things feeling filling, filling out certain things and I'm clicking on cancel okay. yes and then the thing is saved and I'm on you are on the water page I think uh, the whatever action happens afterwards just as a high level just describe that here with the specific defect category right so you are selecting that. Uh, so selecting a specific defect category, verify that color is changed, whatever color, and uh, you have a subcategory list is displayed associated with the category. That's a high level scenario. Okay. Now, in, in, if you, when you go down the step, you need to pick the specific category and uh, see if uh, all the specific subcategory list is displayed or not. Then also you also verify that, hey, color is changed or not for that. Both of them will mark it uh, pass, or pass the functionality, basically. It meets the functionality or not, right? Both of them, uh, both items. I, I'm looking at the other ones as well, process as core button. I think uh, you just described the ability to check functionality of process as core button. But again, you are not telling whether you are supplying the required fields um, and are you picking the warranty ID uh, and uh, so forth or not. So you just need to describe it a little bit further, okay? Yes, we For will all, do all that. Those yeah, all yes. those things, yeah. Okay, yes. all right. Um, so what, let, let's, let's do one thing. Let's uh, spend some time on the correcting that, okay? Because I wanna make sure you guys understand this part. So I'm sure can you guys I can share my um, screen. Yes, go ahead. Okay. So here I am testing for the ready to ship. Okay. And uh, 
I'm checking uh, that I'm giving the test title at validity function, uh, validate functionality of ready to ship button. Okay. And I'm assuming uh, in the precondition like URL is existing. Yeah, don't worry about URL. Without that, you can't even do anything, right? So yes. URL then, has to there be there. Yes, and user admin things. exists. Then I'm okay. telling war warranty ID exists, which is coming from the uh, inventory okay. module and the defect also. Okay, what warranty ID, if you are putting that in the precondition, I would expect you to specify specific warranty ID or something like that, okay? Otherwise, uh, uh, you, you would you are, have to Yeah, you are it. telling, let's say it's like uh, uh, for alphanumeric 10 digit, then I yeah. have to ABCD uh, kind of you are telling. Okay, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, what is the uh, warranty ID, what I, the number I think is? in yeah. the test data, something uh, I put like uh, one, two, five, uh, like that. So I, okay. I can uh, put like uh, 10 digit one. I can do yeah. that. Now, again, remember, this is a dynamic warranty ID, right? So you won't be able to repeat your steps um, because it's not going to be possible once you process one, warranty ID is gone right? It will never be there. So I would suggest for warranty ID, you probably repeat the steps, generate the warranty ID from the okay. previous screen, and then list okay. it out for that. List out okay. the test data that you have to supply for cartridge inventory as well. Yes. In I'll order to generate that. warranty ID, right? Okay. So for this test case, I have to write down as precondition uh, uh, warranty ID is existing or you want me to specify? No, like, remove the precondition yeah. because it will be more confusing. Okay. Okay. Uh, if it's a user ID type of thing, uh, like a particular user, yeah, which is okay. But warranty ID, you it won't make it repeatable. That's that's the only concern I have. Okay. okay. So, but uh, defect list and category that. list already exists, which is fine. Okay. You don't have to set up that every time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you are telling we need to create that one, warranty ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, have to the previous the, put the steps for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, uh, cartridge even, uh, so. Uh, uh, you won't have any dependency. I mean, no uh, dependency then. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dependencies are for the third party system. So, yeah. Okay. Then uh, the test summary is that this test validates the functionality of ready to ship button on warranty mm -hmm. information page. Right. right. Okay. So uh, if we're forgetting about the URL, then uh, okay. the second one is click on warranty button that module. Right. Right. So I'm on uh, that home page, warranty home right. page 04. Then I'm okay. selecting the warranty ID from lookup right. field. Then able yeah, to so here the, you you mm -hmm. want to capture the steps before between two and three, right? For yeah, creating okay. the create actual, the create create, create yeah, the yeah yeah okay. yes. So you need to put those steps in there, and then no matter if you if you put like five steps or three steps, I think you should yeah, be yeah, able how to cover, is, right? Yeah, how it is getting created? Yes, yeah, I understand. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'll do that, and then right. select the warranty ID. I think uh, when you create the warranty ID, you probably want to mark, mark note down the warranty ID uh, mm -hmm. as expected result that, hey, this yes. specific warranty ID, uh, what are the capture the warranty ID and use it in the step four. Yeah. From yes. There. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I did that one. Then okay. I'm, uh, and uh, that is the mandatory field. Mm -hmm. And then okay, I'm so I, I, I see that here, one, one thing. Okay. So yeah. on the number five, Yes. What you have is uh, you are verifying too many things, right? Uh, um, if I'm not giving that one, then how can I verify? No, because you you don't. Do what is that your goal or your goal is to uh, say ready no, to ship functionality? My goal is to uh, test the functionality of ready to ship button. But right, right. Uh, so, if I'm seeing the warranty flow, warranty ID is required as well as the defect is required, right? Yeah. So, so you're supplying the right data, right? You, so you are selecting mm -hmm. warranty ID, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, the defect. Yes. Uh, and then category and subcategories both. So you want to specify those specific items, whatever, whatever you are selecting. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, means, uh, here I have mentioned all the uh, scenarios, but yeah, for, for if I'm testing it, then specific scenario I will give or whether I'm testing the uh, check uh, only taking one category list and the defect list. Right, you need to supply test data. All I'm trying to say is, yes. Now, yes, in yes, the yes. expected result, though, okay, you are saying, hey, uh, color of the button changes when selected, 
all defects associated with the category list selected will be displayed only. Now, how do you know? You want to be very specific. What you wrote down is very generic. Okay, expected result. Uh, yeah, means uh, I, I, as I don't have the uh, means uh, screen, just I put defect list as defect one, defect two, test data, and category list like uh, one problem, like the hopper problem or something. Okay, so that means you have to set up the test data. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, when you actually run the test case. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I, I would suggest you put down Hooper problem mm -hmm. is selected and the defect one and defect two. Yes. Um, if that's the what that's the defect you are selecting. Yeah. Yes. But are, are you selecting both subcategories or just one? Uh, if I'm selecting the uh, category list, then the associated defect list should be there on the defect list. Okay. That's what the but, scenario says. I know, but what, what specific defect you are selecting because ready to ship, you, you are not testing, hey, I'm able to view those subcategories. You are testing that, hey, I selected a Hooper problem. Mm -hmm. I selected defect one from the subcategory list. And now I click on ready to ship. Yeah. And I'm able to do ready to ship at that point. You are not testing yes. that, hey, Hooper problem is selected and I can see whether I defect one and defect two are, or all the list are items are displayed. That's not yes. what your goal is, right? Your goal is to select the category, subcategory. Yes. yes. The goal is to ready, mark it as ready to ship. That's your goal. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Right. right. So I think your step number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, can you scroll up a little bit, uh, please? No, scroll, uh, sorry, scroll okay. down. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. So oh, this is this is that's what I said. This is like the elaborate scenario for the uh, uh, selected problems, defects, and all. But when I'm I know, so you don't want to mix it yeah. up here. What I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, is, you want to put that in other scenario. Yes, yes, uh, I understood. I will okay. just uh, take the means whatever scenario I'm testing. Right, just I'll right. take that one, like one yeah, category yeah. and then uh, defects associated with the category, yep, and then yep. I'm clicking on the ready to ship button. Right, right. Specific, uh, specific. Yes. Select the specific yes, data yes. and the data. So I think yeah. uh, you probably want to communicate this information, discuss with your team. I think uh, you you are part of what team, Susri? Are you part of working with the uh, Deepal and folks? Yes, right. Yes. So maybe yes, you yes. want to review as a team. Okay. Yes. Yes. And I think you guys write a scenario for the other one as a team as well. Yes, okay. we'll do that. Um, yes, we'll do and, that. And uh, work, work through that, yeah. Yes. Okay, but I think I, I, I can see it. Yeah, it, it, it should be fine. Um, I think what, so what you have- So I'm just clicking on, the, yeah. yeah, that shipping module and uh, yeah. uh, it should be populated, means uh, marked as uh, uh, complete. Right, right. And uh, yep. in the F06 space, I can see it the ready to ship all the items. That's correct. That's correct. And that's where you, you should add. Yep. Yep. That is correct. I, I see it is almost there 90% uh, from there. Other than those steps, as I suggested, you can add that in. Yeah. yeah but I, I'm I'll not saying that. it I'll is incorrect. Okay. I'm just yeah. saying it will make it more clear. Yeah. 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 I'll do that. I'll do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But otherwise, you are, yeah, I, I can see uh, it's there. Uh, yeah. And, and rest of the thing like cancel button and all, definitely I'll discuss with the team more and we'll right, do right, that. Right. Yes. We'll yep, do that. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. Hey, Harsha. Yes, yes. I have a question like, you know, when you do the, you're testing the functionality of a button, mm -hmm. a new button, any button. So yeah. basically it triggers an action. And yeah, then uh, you fill up that action, you know, whatever list they are wanting or required. And mm -hmm. then you come back and see uh, whether it's filled up or not. Is that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have to verify it, right? The ultimate yes, goal is, yes. can I see, uh, how do I verify that information? Uh, is saved successfully or what happens afterwards, right? If yes. So here in, in this case, there is a next screen. So it's supposed to show up on that, yes. right? On the, on the that's what C, Susri has listed in the last step. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. once I do ready to ship, it should show up on F06 or whatever the next screen is. Right, right. Yeah, so that's what that, yeah, for my... yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, otherwise, I mean, if you don't have that screen, uh, and okay. if you go in the database, you can certainly do so verification. Hey, information is saved. So you just say, verify that information is saved in the database successfully at that point. Okay. If and the next the screen is not built, just in case, then you just say that uh, 
this particular part because you don't know how the system will be built. So right. what screen will go in first and uh, so forth. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So Harshal, we had one yeah. question when we were sure. talking about this uh, next screen. You can okay. see the uh, screen warranty shipping list, which is of uh -huh. number 43. Okay. So the this is the just particularly for the new button. Uh, sure. So we had a one thought for the new button. Can we check the functionality by two ways or one way? One way is a click on the button and it's mm -hmm. supposed to take you to the blank page, which is ready to enter the data. Okay. It is popping up or not. That's the first way. But uh, we had a one uh, uh, thought for this particular thing. Do we need to fill out uh, any uh, data first and check it is taking us to that screen or not? Okay, I think first of all, this screen, uh, you guys shouldn't be testing, right? First of all, this is not part of your module. Uh, unless uh, no, you uh, said that. I guess you mentioned this one too. I I don't recall that uh, because uh, we we have. Uh, let me go back to my list here. I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Let me see it here. Notepad project work. Okay, so I don't see. Team one warranty shipping is the module uh, six nine six ten and six eleven for you guys. Yeah, this is a six eleven. This one is six eleven. Yes. Yeah. That's a uh, team three. Team yes. three, yeah, that which is correct, yeah. Yes. So for that we had that question, and uh, for this particular warranty shipping list. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 maybe I misspoke on that. Uh, so, I mean, if you guys already did it, which is fine, but uh, let's not spend any more time on that. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'd like you guys to focus on the uh, other warranty module, which is actual ready to ship and other, other things for that. Yeah. Okay. But uh, go, go ahead with your question now. Let me see if I can. Yes. For you. So uh, let me just uh, do that here so you can see the screen better okay so this is the screen yes. right okay so uh here the list is showing up is mm -hmm. uh, not completed this is the shipping list which right. is not right. completed right, right? Yeah. yeah so i was uh writing the test case where i supposed to write down the test case uh, mm -hmm. pre uh, printed right print right. option this print a document option. Right. So for that, I have to create the first of all this list and That's it correct. will show up here. Right. And then I click on the print button, which will take us to the next screen, uh, the shipping screen. Uh, this one, not the, this one. The no, other print, one. I'm print will open, just print it out. Uh, Yes, that's what the, my question is. Let me just bring it, my words together sure. because there are like a three way, uh, we need to go to two or three different pages to get this test done. Okay. This one. So yeah. because of what the print uh, button will do, print button will uh, bring the um, navigate to this page, uh, right. app seven page. And mm -hmm. it will print it out, like open up the print window where we can select the printer and uh, give them a uh, instruction to the printer so printer can print the document for us. Right, right. So um, for that- Yeah, so that, that's the reason I do. I did not want to need you uh, guys to work through this because there are more screens that ties to this, okay? But I already um, worked through it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, it, it's fine. Did you guys uh, work as a also, team? Uh, if I can interrupt, uh, what you sure. wanted to tell, uh, uh, what we did in the previous one, it was like ready to ship. But instead right. of ready to ship, when it is uh, part as core or uh, core provided, uh, buttons will be clicked, then the shipment will be incomplete. No, it will just go back to the inventory and uh, they will run a report separately to pull that out. Uh, and uh, see they, they will decide what they want to do with the uh, cartridges. Maybe they will just discard it. 
some of the cartridges or use it as a parts recovery. So they will tear down the cartridge, recover some parts and uh, then uh, throw it out, remaining stuff. Uh, isn't and it ready the, to that, ship. Isn't yeah, it the to... screen where it is not ready to ship, but only uh, the right, shipment right. is incomplete? Right. Right, that is the, uh, that's when uh, this screen will be generated, right? Yeah, so whatever you do in the ready to ship, right? Mark ready to ship. Yes. It flows, the information will flow to the actual warranty shipping list. And that and is the where, uh, screen F06. Yeah, that's, no, that's that's uh, whatever the 11, I think, yes. 611, whatever module is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think at this point, I mean, I wouldn't want you guys to go through other one. Uh, I think you had different module as well. If, if uh, no, for, for so F05 uh, okay. and uh, F06 which okay. is the next one, uh, yes. page right. number 47. So okay. let me just- uh, um, Sure, sure, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yes, so for that, if I don't click on this shipment complete, still mm -hmm. I can generate the warranty ID and right. I can go back here on 43. Did, did, okay, hang on, so, hang on. So shipment complete, that one is a different. Yes, Remember, absolutely. Remember, that's a coming in, that's a coming in shipment. Okay, that's nothing to do with the shipment here on this. Ah, yeah, that, that, is, that is the ready to ship in the next. Yes, day. no, no, no. What I'm saying to uh, to get the printout, we need to first figure out that particular tracking number and warranty ID and the cartridge is showing up here in the list or not. Then we can go and select that um, uh, button and uh, that button will take us to F7 and all that. So to create, for example, here it is saying that in the shipping list uh, have not been completed in the system. So how can we create the cartridge that is not been completed in the system? That is my question here. It's yeah, all I'm telling you is that's a separate button. Okay, that's nothing to do with the warranty shipping list here. Okay. Uh, okay. Isn't it so that button now? That where function is completely process? separate. Processes See, for so what happens no? is shipment complete is so they are receiving all the shipments from the customer or vendors or wherever they are coming from, right? Then so they are processing one by one on receiving page. They start on receiving, right? Mm -hmm. Those kid and those boxes and so forth. But then they will also mark play, let's say 50 quantity, right? Now they will start processing individual cartridges on the cartridge inventory page. Every cartridge, they will say, yep, it's warranty eligible, warranty not eligible. Now, after all the cartridges, 50 cartridges from the box is processed, they will say shipment complete. So receiving shipment complete, not uh, ready to ship shipment complete. Okay, so those are different things. Uh, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay, thank you. So they are part of the different processes. Okay. All right. Okay. So anything, any other question? I think uh, let's let's do one thing. Uh, I think most of you have written down some test cases. Uh, we we can we can certainly do. Uh, I think we already reviewed one from Susri um, and the team, but uh, I'll give a chance to other one one from each team to see if they if they have written down anything and we can review it one let test me case. stop sharing here yeah. uh, we did not write team one did not write any test cases okay. as we wanted to fine. make sure the scenarios sure. are the right ones sure that, that's what i would expect it uh, but uh, if you guys wrote it just like uh, susri has it then we can sort of review one test case um, so any uh, other team, did you guys write down anything? You you guys like to review anything? Uh, yes, Harshal, I, uh, can I share my screen? Yeah, uh, pick one that you have reviewed as a team, okay? Uh, yeah, not sure. the individual one. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we did uh, as team, I will share. Okay, all right.
Can you able to see my screen? Yes, yes, I can. Yeah. Okay, so uh, which so one? What is so the this scenario? One did, right? uh, yes, just go. Uh, warranty generation. Okay, auto yeah. generation of warranty ID. Yeah. And uh, so, okay. All right. I think you, you may need to see the screen first on page 20. No, that is fine. Uh, screen, I think, uh, it's okay. Um, uh, let, let's go through the screen. Yeah, I think it might help others what you guys are talking about. Okay, so. Yeah. So, warranty ID generation. Right. Um, Warranty ID is actually system generated. So we have wrote the step and we want Harshal that you clarify because we had a question in damaged and warranty eligible. So uh, Nita, just move back to that uh, screen. Yes, case. All right. Anita. Uh, I'm I'm sorry, Harshal. Uh, my son is sick. He's vomiting. Can I go for five minutes? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry for that. Oh no problem. No problem. Okay. So, Prani, do you have it? Yeah, uh, that's actually. I'll just try to pull it out. I we were actually yeah. planning everything will go on with her side. My system is very slow. I see. Yeah. I see. So give me a minute. I'll pull it out. You can uh, check another one. We will come back. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I, I don't think anybody else has anything. Um, so okay. let's spend some time on the correction then. Um, okay. Uh, as I said, I mean, today we will wrap up uh, at 11.30, you guys' time, um, which is uh, roughly about 30 minutes, okay, uh, from, from now, looks like. <coughs> so, you, you guys want to maybe spend like 15, 20 minutes uh, as a team, or I, I, let, let me know how you guys want to handle it. Um, I'm not sure whether you can finish up in 30 minutes, but... Um, if you guys want, I can create the break rooms here and you guys can uh, work through that. Okay, let me just check. I could share my screen. Okay. Do you see it? Yes, we can. Okay. So it, this is the same thing what uh, we are having. Okay. So can you just uh, explain, uh, let me, or we can read it through as well. Display in the browser yeah. window, login section. Okay. Yeah, inventory just... module. Okay. I'm just uh, going through it quickly. Cartridge inventory page is displayed. Click on the lookup field button. Touch screen mm -hmm. is popular with the names of the customers and vendors. Okay. Uh, select a customer. Customer is successfully selected. Okay. Go to the cartridge. So you have, how many steps do you have? So toner, you are, so you are picking up all the fields. I want to see the actual warranty thing uh, that you have. So if you can scroll down. Yeah, it's a little bit slow, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so select the identification number from the manufacturer, remanufacturer is disabled, okay. Okay, so we are taking the original uh, manufacturer, so our remanufacturer field is disabled. Next is we are, uh, the weight field is also taken through the next form. It will okay. calculate the cartridge weight. And with respect to that, the color of the field changes to red. Now, I just have to ask you this, like these are all already in the system, right? So we are pulling this data from the other pages or other database and populating this fields. So yes, so question. now here, you mm -hmm. this is this, this is a specific case and, uh, or, or specific cartridge uh, comes in the picture, okay? Because okay. the, you are applying the formula, you are expecting certain things, mm -hmm. um, but that setting has to be ex has to exist in the system for that cartridge. Uh, okay. So you need to pick specific cartridges. 
Okay, so when uh, I'm maybe like a HP HP cartridge, mm -hmm. right? So we mm -hmm. make sure your HP cartridge already exists with uh, in in the system, whatever the type with the manufacturer type and all those things, all those details. Okay. Without okay. that, I mean, your how would you know whether it's out of tolerance or not, right? I mean, your steps are correct. Okay, I'm not saying, but it's not they are not specific. So you yeah. have you have written down logical steps, but you need in this scenario they have they need to be specific. Okay, and even this where we are saying if both the condition for 14 and 15 is yes, then the button changes color and then the warranty ID. So my question is also this, Harshal, 13, 14 and 15 all has to be true, right? The yes, yes and uh, the cartridge. Yeah, so wait, yeah, water weight is right. Uh, since it is uh, the color of the field change to red since it is out of tolerance, right? Mm -hmm. So it yeah. has to be true first mm -hmm. okay then you 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 verify that uh, select damage i think uh basically field right and the warranty eligible yes i think it will automatically happen uh, you, we need to look at the requirement here uh, mm -hmm. how that triggers so it, 13 14 and 15 are together that's yeah. what i'm thinking in so order to generate I, I, the warranty yeah i had the same question and we we were just talking like are we supposed to select or will this be uh, if the weight field is like uh, the color is red and it's out of tolerance will it go and say the 14 is yes and the 15 is yes or we have to select because if you see the functional Take a look at the, let's, let's pull up the requirement right uh, so let's let's go back to the requirement here uh, i i can't switch from my system so no, you can't okay yeah. I can directly go to the page. If you want, I can stop sharing and uh, somebody can share the... Uh, Basu, can you share the document? I can share as well. Uh, let's see. I'll let you know the page number. Let's go to page 22 and the requirement is... Okay, let me pull that up. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, you can directly go to page 33. 33? Okay. Yeah. All right, 33. Okay, so let me go and share the screen. So I'm on page 33 now, and uh, hopefully you guys can see it. Okay, thanks, Ashwin. So here okay. we have the, um, these are the events. So we have A to L. Right. So weight field on populate, right? So this is the okay. weight one. Yes. Okay. Then yes, what I'm clicking on, yes, quantity ID label to be hidden. Okay. And then mm -hmm. you have clicking on yes button causes warranty label ID to be displayed. Yes, and they follow the rule R03. So if you see the rule, that is just previous page 31, um, page 31. Wait field out of compliance, right? So this one just explained the, what the rule is. Yes. And That's this one generates how the warranty ID is generated, right? So out yes. of compliance when the warranty cartridge automatically flagged as warranty eligible. The, it says it's out of compliance, then the cartridge is automatically flagged as warranty eligible. User cannot affect this flag and cartridge must be processed as warranty. Okay, so what, what it says is those uh, two actions will happen at the same time if it's out of compliance. Okay, okay? so your steps are actually combined. Oh. Those, those actions, you need to verify that, hey, this, uh, this thing happens, it's already or warranty eligible uh, is selected uh, and the uh, warranty ID will be generated basically and displayed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't have to take into account the yes no button? No, it will automatically be marked as yes. System okay. will take care of it. Now, what the clarification here is what it means when it says automatically flagged as warranty eligible. Right, so this is your clarification point to the business. And uh, here I'm telling you is, uh, it will be automatically marked because the rule is not clear here, but what it what will happen is uh, it will 
automatically marked warranty eligible yes and okay, it will show the warranty id yeah that was the main thing we were confused yeah. about we'll just make a note yep so so those, those are three steps are combined actually for you right okay uh, or, or you can get rid of technically step uh, 13 or you have 13 where you are calculating right mm -hmm. and at the end you are verifying that it's marked yes warranty id is displayed and it's a taller it's out of compliance basically okay. those three actions verify and that 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 should take care of it for you yeah. in the expected result yeah Mm -hmm. Anita, are you there? Uh, I think she's not back, probably. Um, yeah. So, Harshal, I have a question. Yes. Uh, as you mentioned, when we select something, the color of uh, that button will change into red. But mm -hmm. in the requirement, it's not uh, nowhere it's um nowhere it stated that it's going to change into red it's just said uh, it will change the color it's yes. it on page 33 a01 a09 sorry no not for this but any particular for mm -hmm. our requirement oh, it didn't sorry. say anything uh for, are you talking about specific button um or yeah, the skid, uh, the case and the box buttons. Okay, so on your receiving page, that's what you are saying, okay. Uh -huh. So here, if I click on skid, case or box, right? Yeah. So let's take a look at the field here. Product was received, button changes color when it is selected, and when it is selected, and a different packet type is selected, right? So now it doesn't say it changes the red, right? Uh, so I'm gonna clarify it for you, it will change to red. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sure. <clears throat> Any, I think that helps you, right, Swapnali? Um, yes. yes, definitely. I was thinking, do I need to, but customer look of fail, it is like, I'm just going to pull the data. So. Sure. Okay. But uh, want... yeah, try to be specific here because you need to have that uh, particular cartridge with a specific setting set up okay. in the system. So uh, you, I, 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 I don't know whether you had a precondition that says uh, you have a cartridge set up with the specific parameters or specific information so you probably want to add those in the preconditions that you have okay i'll do that okay yeah. all right I, I think hopefully this is helping you guys okay this exercise because i think uh Sure. And I think the scenarios and test cases, obviously, that's the next step. Um, so let's do, do one thing for sake of time, right? So it's, uh, I think, uh, 8.42 here, uh, Indian time. Um, and I have a hard stop at 9 o'clock. So what, let's do the, um, uh, let's uh, touch base on Thursday, okay? Because I don't want you to start anything new, but I think you guys need to work through as a team make sure everybody understands what you produce as a uh, individually make sure you review with the other folks okay because it will help uh, other folks in the, in the team um, and it, it's okay to have some uh, if you have to provide some clarification to the team members which is part of the process okay um, and if you strongly believe i mean you wrote it uh, is correct yeah just just talk to the team members and uh, basically explain them why you have it that way um, and it's, I think it will help everybody uh, at the end. So I'd like you guys to work through that, uh, finish up the scenarios, uh, high level scenarios exercise, and uh, now start working through the, at least one test case for every scenario, okay? So I expect you guys to have, I mean, there are so many team members there. Make sure you, everybody writes at least a couple of test cases for different scenarios and then review as a team um, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, come, come up with that. Or if you just wanna write everything, everybody as a team, I mean, it's, it's up to you guys. 
but I would suggest everybody writes at least two and review with each other, the other team members. And uh, I think I'll come back on Thursday. So I, I, Thursday, I wasn't planning on originally, but I think uh, you guys will need it probably Thursday uh, so that we, we can review it. And Thursday, we will we'll keep it at 6.30. Um, the, I mean, I'll be back uh, on Tuesday. So I think we, we should be good on Thursday as well. So 6.30 to 8, I think well, that's what we'll plan, short session, and then uh, we'll regroup on Sunday as well, as, uh, as we planned originally. Okay. Uh, so Harshan, the, do we have to write the test cases in uh, the Word test case template or? Uh, I would suggest you guys use the tools so that you can easily share it. Maybe okay. you use, use Azure DevOps or Jira. If you okay. prefer template, it's fine. I mean, but uh, it's easier to share with the team yeah. members. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Herschel, uh, can I quickly share my screen so uh, you yeah. can see? Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. So, because I I did change, can, are you able to see it? Yeah. So, can you just uh, look for the changes what I'm created in the uh, okay. scenario so that? So, clicking on a cancel button after filling out required document, system navigates to the home page without saving current data. I think that would that would be fine. Yeah, okay. that makes it more clear to me what is your scenario. Okay, and then yes. in the in the test case, all you are doing is putting in, in details how you are planning to achieve that, whatever you okay. just described high level. So, okay. yeah, I think so that's now, perfectly fine. Yes, the third one, the selecting defect. Can you just read that? So uh, selecting we can get defects idea. associated with the selected category. Uh, from the defect list causes the current selected problem list to be updated with the new selection and then change the color of the button. Um, I'm trying to see selecting defect category associated with the selected category. So it's a category and subcategory, right? I mean, that, yes. that's all you are doing. Yes. So selected category from the defect list So it's not selecting defects, right? Associated with the selected category. I guess I, think I it's, need uh, to selecting, change. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, so from the category list, actually. Yeah, so category and subcategory, those are the wordings. Okay, okay. So defect category and defect subcategory, right? So th that, that's okay. what it is. Yeah. Yes, that is a good word to use it because this is more uh, confusing words uh, together. Right, right, right. It, it just uh, all I'm looking for is uh, just make it more clear. That's all. Uh, I think the other one is good, so I think you you are fine. Yes. Over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, and we we'll work as a team. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, you guys can discuss and uh, come up with the better wording. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as somebody can read it and say, "Yep, this is all you are doing," that's good. Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. So for um, just gi give me a um, brief idea to um, create the Azure DevOps, uh, this project, we need to go public, right? Yeah, it needs to be public for everybody, I think. Um, do you guys still uh, have access Asha, to Jira? Uh, I'm not able to create the public, only button uh, uh, is uh, like, uh, you know, popping up for me, uh, clicking on, on the, a private so i don't know what uh yeah that's uh, there is a setting in there in the project uh, um, uh how about work through i mean uh, which way i mean as i said i mean template is okay if you guys are struggling um to create the public project but i think uh we'll go ahead and go and do that and uh, i think I, I owe you guys a video to set up the new accounts and certain things for jira and azure uh, i think uh, jira is expired right for most of you guys Yes, yeah, yes, I didn't open it, but uh, yes, it was not opening it. Yeah, yeah, I think Jira is expired for most of you guys. Um, go, go ahead and write, write it on the template for now, and I'll, I'll I'll set you guys up for another month for all 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 of you. So should be fine. Okay, we yeah. will do that uh, in a Word yep. document. Yeah, yeah, it should so be fine. Still, yeah, what document. we'll be doing on uh, Sunday. Uh, so we definitely want to review on Thursday, 
Okay, mm -hmm. so make sure you guys had a chance to work through that. So it, it, as you guys seen it, right? It's it's a cycle. It's not gonna be first time that you guys will have it everything correct. Okay. Right. So and uh, we'll 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 uh, Sunday is more of a wrap up. Uh, so so we'll review certain things and uh, probably wrap up the sessions as well. So there is a generally a wrap up session. We have it at the end. So we'll not test these scenarios and uh, anything, or we'll, we'll not able to see the uh, uh, system. No system. I mean, you you don't really need a system, right? So you write the test cases. We review it. That's that's gonna be your core of the work. Execution part is very minimal for you guys. Okay. Test execution, right? I mean, it's generally ten percent less than ten percent of the work that you guys do. Execution. The important, the main major of the work that you spend is coming up with the test cases, writing down the scenarios uh, and the detailed test cases, and uh, reviewing the requirements, understanding the process, functionality, and so forth. So that's roughly eighty percent of your, or seventy percent to eighty percent of your day-to-day -day work in the real life. Okay, thank yeah. you. I mean, we do have a system, uh, but I mean, I'm not sure how it, it will help you. It's a just execution part anyway, so. Mm. Okay. Um, so if you guys need it, I'll, I'll see it, but otherwise um, we may not have uh, access for you, okay? That, that's the only part. Um, so, but we will wrap up on uh, Sunday and then we'll talk about the next steps and uh, so forth which, which is also important so yep so thursday we are meeting for uh, the regular session time yes yeah, 6 30 mm -hmm. to 8 6 30 to 8 uh, we'll keep it uh, hour and a half okay yeah okay. yep and uh, if you guys don't have a link i think with thursday's link is expired but use the use the same one okay it will still work okay whatever okay. link we already sent you yeah you say i think it will still work so just use that thursday lab it should be okay so Harshal, okay. we have to write all the test scenarios and few test cases until thursday yes, right? i think uh, two uh, two per team member okay pick uh, different scenarios and the process one the business process one i think uh, that's ideal okay okay yeah okay so, so like uh, cancel Harshal. button done button and all those things yeah um, yes yeah so this time we are not uh, as a team three we are not going to warranty shipping list which uh, includes so many screens. that's correct that's correct okay yep, yep. i so think on the, going... on the other screen you already have 20 plus scenarios okay you can easily have that right 15 20 yes. scenarios just divide yes. and conquer yep yes uh, yeah. for so we are going to write down cases for the warranty information page number f04 yep yep that's correct okay. that's correct okay yeah that is very clear thank you yeah yeah yep okay so everybody is good with the, what needs to be done any question uh, Harshal, are we supposed to make any kind of resume like and what we are supposed to mention, how we are supposed to mention? So the that's uh, generally we have one on one, uh, Swapnali. Yeah, that's um, what we wanted to ask. Yeah, like. so it's, it's a one on one, but we'll talk next uh, Sunday. Okay. What okay. needs to, what is the next step? And that's part of the next step process. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So on, yep. on Sunday, we are not doing any of the project related work. No, no, we'll be doing some project related work. Okay. If you guys are not done on Thursday, then we, we will do that. Spend maybe an hour on that and remaining hour to wrap up. Okay. Yeah. And I think Sunday one is a classroom. If you guys want to come in, uh, or we can we can certainly do so. So uh, if everybody prefers online, is fine. Then we'll do online. Yep. But I think uh, I said classroom. I think uh, those who are in Columbus, they can certainly come in on next Sunday. Yeah, I would like a personal one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. Yeah, I think uh, Dilip and I both will be there. So, yep, should be good. Okay, then we'll, we'll stick to the plan. See you guys on uh, Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. All right. Thank okay. you so much, Harshal. Thank you. All right. Enjoy your rest of your trip. Yep, uh, yeah, I'll be spending on traveling <laughs> over next two days. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> have, 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 travel. have a good one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, everyone. All righty. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye.